Okay, let's follow up on the uh, Pythagorean identities a bit by having a look at uh, identities involving brackets and uh, what we should do with them. Um, sometimes when you see um, brackets in an identity, those brackets are actually going to be factors. And what I mean by that is um, when you have a Pythagorean identity, like uh, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. If we have this solved for uh, cosine squared x, that's going to equal 1 minus sine squared x. Now, instead of 1 minus sine squared x, you might see the factored version of this, where we have to realize that this is simply the difference of two squares. We have 1, which in squared is still 1, and sine squared, and a minus sign. So we can factor this by difference of squares. Um, when factoring something by difference of squares, we're just going to see that we'll make our two brackets. And with difference of squares, the order is important. Um, you want to put what uh, is uh, on the left-hand side in the left of the brackets and what's on the right side on the right of the brackets. Um, otherwise, if you do it opposite when it's expanded, it's going to be uh, it's going to be wrong. It's going to be the opposite of what's here. So on this side, we're going to have a one. On this side, we're going to have a one. And then uh, we're going to have a sine x and a sine x. And then we're just going to have a plus and a minus. And that is the factored form of 1 minus sine squared x, which equals cosine squared x. So this could be important in an identity where you perhaps had to substitute cosine squared x for these factors and cancel one out in the top or something. Um, and uh, we can do this with any of the Pythagorean identities that we've rearranged uh, such that we have a difference of two squares. Um, and it's seen quite a lot. Um, like just in uh, proving this next identity, we have 1 plus cosine x multiplied by 1 minus cosine x equals sine squared x. And this is just what we did up here. When we expand this out, we're going to get, okay, well, 1 times 1 is 1, and then we're going to get uh, cosine x times 1 is cosine x, and then 1 times negative cosine x is negative cosine x, so our middle parts cancel out. Then cosine x times negative cosine x is going to give us a negative cosine squared x. So these are gone, so then we just get 1 minus cosine squared x equals sine squared x, which is true because it's just the rearranged form of our above fundamental Pythagorean identity. Um, other than that, like if you get an identity and you see brackets initially, like we'll just have, we'll have a look at one that's perhaps a little bit simpler than the one we just did. Like if you have cosecant x multiplied by sine x plus cosine x equals 1 plus cotangent x. Then, and really, all you can do here is multiply out the brackets, and you'll just need to remember how to FOIL. Um, so we have cosecant times sine. Well, that's just going to be 1 over sine x multiplied by sine x over 1 plus cosecant 
x times cosine x. So that's just going to be cosine x over sine x when that's multiplied through. And that's going to equal 1 plus cotangent x. And when these cancel out, this becomes 1. So we get 1 plus cotangent x equals 1 plus cotangent x. Uh, so let's have a, a look at another one. Um, one that's maybe a little bit more difficult looking. Like here you have sine x multiplied by sine x plus cosecant x, c x, c x, cosine squared x equals 1. Alright, well, the only thing we can really do here is distribute the sine x on the outside of the bracket to each term inside the bracket. So, sine x times sine x is going to be sine squared x, and then we're going to have sine x plus sine x from 1 times 1 over sine x times cosine squared x equals 1. And when we multiply this through, we get sine over sine. These cancel out. So we end up with sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, which is true and is just our fundamental Pythagorean identity. So I guess when you have uh, brackets, you're best bet is just usually to expand them out um, and see what you get from there. Anyway, good luck.